Now, Mark Emery, I'm sure you've heard of him, is, is in prison for, it, for his... For being an activist, I suppose, around the cannabis issue. I mean, there are specific reasons, but it's really being an activist. And uh, his wife, uh, Jodie Emery, is free uh, and uh, in Vancouver, if that is freedom. Uh, I want to make this quite clear. You know, we, we disagree on this issue of cannabis and, and drugs and legalization and decriminalization. I, I, I mean, I'm, I'm fairly conservative on this, but that doesn't mean you can't have an informed... Uh, civilized debate and I certainly think it is ridiculous to have people in prison uh, for long periods of time when they have not used any violence at all we now hear that it could be and I, I must find out if this is hyperbole or not but it could be that someone who grows cannabis could spend more time in prison than a child rapist is this true is this really true is this just a, a campaign that you're running well, it is true if you look at the mandatory minimums being offered for drug offenses and marijuana offenses. This government is really cracking down on the marijuana culture and marijuana growers. Uh, they're out of touch with Canadians, though. The most recent poll was 66% of Canadians want legalization or decriminalization, and 59% of conservative voters also want it legalized or decriminalized. They understand that prohibition hasn't worked, making tougher laws and putting people in prison isn't reducing the problems and I agree that violent dangerous criminals and organized crime are a threat and should be dealt with but the only way to do so is to end prohibition take the money away from them bring it into the legitimate economy stop wasting taxpayer dollars going after an endless battle and we'll see a solution to so many of the problems associated with the drug trade today mm -hmm. Look, we just had a survey that showed that, what, 65% of people support the death penalty. Where, where, wherever you stand on that, it's not the government's job to simply obey the people. They have to have th their own ideas. And I, mean, I think you'd agree that there's been a big media campaign and entertainment campaign to, to normalize drug use. I don't think people who use cannabis uh, should have criminal records and be arrested. But if you are growing the stuff to sell, well, I've got very little sympathy with you. Well, consider that most Canadians aren't going and calling up their local Hells Angels dealer to get their weed. Millions of Canadians smoke marijuana and they do so peacefully and they either get it from a friend, somebody who grows a couple plants, or somewhere through the chain. But people aren't really buying off dealers from the street. Millions of Canadians get it from people who are growing a few plants in their basement. Indoor growing, a lot of people do it for other types of plants too. But if you wanted to make it safer for people to grow and act Access cannabis, bring it into the free market, bring it into the private sector or even the government. Get it in the hands of responsible people. Don't let the gangsters control the majority of it. It's a, it's a very good and a very clever argument, and you make it well. But at the same time, if you don't want to, again, if someone uses the stuff, and most cops would go along with this, if it's being used, they're not going to really intervene. You, you, I've seen police cruisers drive past cars full of kids, so, you know, they've got better things to do. But if you don't want to go to prison, if you don't want a record, then don't grow it. It's as simple as that. You use it if you want, but don't grow well, the stuff. The problem is if regular, ordinary Canadians who grow their own aren't able to do it because they're afraid of the law, that means more marijuana is going to be grown by organized crime. Gangsters and criminals are willing to take the risks. They know that they could be shot on the street, they can get arrested, they know there are risks involved, and they're the people willing to take those risks. So when you raise the risk and you raise the threat of prison and the punishment increases, only the worst of the worst types of people are going to continue taking those but, risks. But, but Jody, Jody you, you, again, you know that the practicality is neither the government nor the police are going after people who are growing for personal use. They're aiming at people who are growing big time because they want to make money. And these people aren't doing it because they're activists or they're noble. They're generally doing it because they want to make money. Well, if that's an issue and you don't want people profiteering from prohibition, then end prohibition and there won't be money to be made and there won't be a huge number of people breaking the law to do that. But again, organized crime, their marijuana is mostly for export. A lot of Canadians grow their own homegrown. And these prisons that are being built across Canada, we know there are tens of thousands of prison beds being opened up. And we don't have tens of thousands of, of you know, Bernardos or Willie Pictons out there. Mm. There's a lot of Canadians who grow a couple plants and sell it to their friends who are facing prison under these laws. And we've seen oh. it happen in the U.S. And we know that private prison corporations lobby for these types of laws. If Harper is so sure that this is a good thing for Canada, 
Why aren't they providing the evidence? Why are the reports blacked out? What is the motivation behind these laws when all the science and all the studies and all the experts and even conservatives throughout the United States say that this is the wrong direction, this is well, a waste of billions some, of dollars? Some conservatives do, some don't. I mean, there's obviously a division between libertarian and non-libertarian. But so, we haven't got much time left. But so you think Stephen Harper is in league with what? Organized crime to make sure there's still money to be made in drugs. I mean, what's the motivation for this? Let's just say that there are certain people who profit from prohibition, and that certainly includes gangsters, but police mm. budgets go up, yeah. prisons go up, and people who want prohibition to end want to see the criminals put out of business. Okay. I am not on the side of gangsters. I want right. a safer streets for Canada. It's, 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 where, it's where you lose me, you see. It's conspiracy theory. I, I think this is a valid <laughs> debate to have, but I don't think anyone, well, uh, certainly Stephen out. Harper, is in league with anyone else. He merely thinks this is the way. Look, we, we will bring you back on the show. My regards to you and to your husband. Thank you so much. Thank you.